A private pre-shared key, PPSK for short, is a security solution in which individual client devices can be managed without complexity. With PPSK configured, each user is assigned a unique passphrase for authentication of the same SSID. It also allows the binding of a passphrase in the device MAC addresses, and thus only the specified device can be authenticated using the passphrase. You can create PPSK lists and apply them to multiple wireless networks, saving you from repeatedly setting up the same information. The Omada SDN controller supports two types of PPSK, PPSK without radius and PPSK with radius. This video will guide you through configuring a PPSK without radius and PPSK with radius. Before configuration, please note the following. The 6 GHz band does not support PPSK with or without radius for security, so make sure to uncheck 6 GHz to configure the PPSK function. Verify that the current firmware version of your EAPs supports PPSK with and without radius. Otherwise, the EAP will not broadcast the SSID with PPSK with or without radius, leading to clients failing to detect the SSID on either frequency band. For PPSK without radius, you can simply create PPSK profiles on the Omada SDN controller. Go to Settings, Profiles, PPSK. Click Create New PPSK Profile. Enter a name for the new profile. Click Add to add new entries in the PPSK profile. You can also click Import to import entries and batches from a file. Here we add a new entry manually as an example. Enter a name to identify the created PPSK entry and a passphrase that the client will use for authentication. You can bind the PPSK to a specific MAC address so that only the client of this MAC address can use the passphrase for authentication. You can also set the VLAN ID so the client using the passphrase for authentication will be assigned to the specific VLAN. To use the feature, you should create the VLAN interface first. MAC address and VLAN ID settings are optional. Auto PPSK generation will help you easily create multiple PPSK entries at a time. Click Apply. You will see that the PPSK entries have been added in the profile. Click Apply to save your configuration. Go to Settings, Wireless Networks. Click Create New Wireless Network. Enter the SSID PPSK without radius underscore test as an example. Choose PPSK without radius for security. Choose the PPSK profile created. Click apply. You will see that the SSID PPSK without radius underscore test has been created under the WLAN group. For PPSK with radius, here are a few points to note. An EAP works as a network access server Thus, you need to first create network access servers, or RADIUS clients, in the RADIUS server to allow the EAPs to submit authentication requests. When a user connects to the SSID, the EAP will submit the username, the MAC address of the user, and user password to the RADIUS server for authentication. Here, we are running a free RADIUS server. First, edit the clients.conf file. Assume the EAPs are in the 192.168.0.04/24 network, using testing123 as a shared secret for communication with the RADIUS server. Edit the user's file as follows. The MAC address can have different formats, and the NAS will send the MAC address in the specific format set in the controller. Here, we use the default format Note that the tunnel password should range from 8 to 63 characters. When the user with the displayed MAC address attempts to connect to the SSID, it will need to submit the 123 underscore TP link as a password to be authenticated. When the user with the MAC address uses a password 456 underscore TP link, it will be authenticated and connected to the network of VLAN 10. When the user with an unknown MAC address submits a default password, 789 underscore TP link, it will be connected to the network of VLAN 20. Launch your controller and go to Settings, Profiles, Radius Profile. Create a new profile bound to the Radius server. 
enter a name for the new profile. Check Enable VLAN Assignment for Wireless Network if necessary. This feature allows the RADIUS server to assign a wireless user into the specific VLAN based on the credentials applied by the user. To use a feature, you should create the VLAN interface first, and the user to VLAN mappings must be already stored in the RADIUS server database. Enter the IP address of the RADIUS authentication server, the UDP destination port on the authentication server for authentication requests, and the password, or shared secret, that will be used to validate the communication between network devices and the RADIUS authentication server. Save your settings and a new RADIUS profile will be created. Go to Settings, Wireless Networks. Create a new wireless network with PPSK with RADIUS set as Security. Choose the RADIUS profile just created. Choose the authentication type. Enter the NAS ID based on your own needs. This field is optional. Choose the MAC address format. The controller will convert the MAC address into the selected format and use it as a username and password to request RADIUS access for authentication. Click Apply to save your configuration. The SSID PPSK with RADIUS underscore test has now been created in the VLAN group under PPSK with RADIUS. Go to Settings, Wire Networks, LAN. Click Create New LAN. Enter a name for the LAN, select Interface for the purpose, and enter the VLAN ID. Enter the IP address and subnet mask of the default gateway. Other settings can be kept by default or configured according to your own needs. Click Save to create the interface. More interfaces can be created through the same process. Now you have two SSIDs with PPSK configured. Let's run some tests to see if they work. Step 1. Connect the mobile device with the shown MAC address to the SSID PPSK without radius underscore test by using this passphrase. The phone is now successfully connected to the wireless network and its IP address is assigned within the default LAN network. Step 2. Connect the mobile device with this MAC address to the same SSID by using this passphrase. The phone is successfully connected to the wireless network and its IP address is assigned within the VLAN 10 network. Step 3. Connect the mobile device with an unknown MAC address to the same SSID by using this passphrase. The phone is now successfully connected to the wireless network and its IP address is assigned within the VLAN 20 network. Step 1. Connect the mobile device with this MAC address to the SSID PPSK with radius underscore test by using this passphrase. The phone is now successfully connected to the wireless network and its IP address is assigned within the default LAN network. Step 2. Connect the mobile device with the shown MAC address to the same SSID by using this passphrase. The phone is successfully connected to the wireless network and its IP address is assigned within the VLAN 10 network. Step 3. Connect the mobile device with an unknown MAC address to the same SSID by using this passphrase. The phone is successfully connected to the wireless network and its IP address is assigned within the VLAN 20 network. 